uh, when you're in post production and you know editing, uh, laying music, mm -hmm. uh, do you have notes going in of sort of conceptual ideas of how you want everything put together and Not how at the music all. should lay? Or not at all. No idea. Um, in fact, I don't. I don't work with the editor at first, um, and I don't tell the editor what to do at first. You know, my feeling is like with all other jobs on this on the movie, basically, is that you hire people to do what they do best, which ought to be better than you can do it. You know, somebody ought to be able to shoot it better than I could shoot it, or act it better than I could act it, yeah. or you know, put the sound get. The, get the quality of sound better than I could get it. Design a set better than I could design it. Those are the people you want to hire. And somebody ought to be able to edit the movie better than I could edit it, in a way. So my direction to the editor is not use this shot here and then cut to that shot there and be sure and use this. Although there can be notes where I can say, you know, I, I shot that little Thing just because I really liked it, so like I thought it would really be great there, you know, cut away or whatever. Yeah. But my point is to the editor: save me from my mistakes. Here's all the stuff I shot. Put it together. Surprise me. I want to see a movie that I never imagined seeing. I don't want to see some movie that I knew it was going to look like. That would be pointless. So take all this stuff that I shot and call me when you're finished which is basically the first cut yeah so I don't want to see it I don't want to be I don't want to look at all this crap that I shot do you believe in like having an assembly cut or just going right to like kind of the first cut of what uh, no I don't want to I don't really want to see an assembly I'm not interested in all the scenes that don't work I'm interested in the ones that do so I don't want to. I don't want to go home and shoot myself after I see the first cut, which I do anyway. Everybody does, I think. But no, I. If 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 you're editing my my footage and you say, or you don't say, you just do. You know what? This scene that Tony shot with this guy doing this is like, oh, it's it's boring. It's not working. We don't need it. It doesn't tell the story. It's it's not helping. Why would I want to see it in the, in the, in your cut? Yeah. So you show me, you give me your best shot. Is my my point? Show me the best movie you can make out of the footage that we shot, and then we'll talk about my opinion versus your opinion, or what I think, or whatever. You know, then we'll talk about. Well, maybe I'll watch it and I'll say, you know what? I kind of miss that scene where the guy is, you know, uh, sitting there getting drunk at the bar. I kind of miss that here. Let's put it back in and see how, how it works. Or you'll say, as the editor, you'll say, yeah, but Tony, it doesn't match the light from the scene that before it, or it doesn't, you know, it, 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 he's not very good in that scene. <laughs> or, you know, here's why it's not there. And I'll say, well, you know what, you're right. Or let's try it anyway. Or let's try it somewhere else in the movie. Uh, one school of thought is, the camera's going to go here, we're going to do this, it's going to cut from there to there. I know it's going to do this, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. And this is how it's going to look, and it's all in your mind. You know, you know just how it's going to turn out. Uh, so the other school of thought, which I said I'm stuck with, is, you know, we're not making the movie here on the set. We're shooting a lot of stuff, and then we're going to go into a room and make the movie out of all that stuff. Yeah. So don't worry about messing up. Don't worry about forgetting your lines. Don't worry about hitting your marks as an actor. Don't worry about all the stuff that makes actors worry. Did I, you know, did I say it the right way? Did, did I remember every word that was written? Did I say my line? Don't worry about that stuff. Do the job and a lot of the stuff that is a mistake is going to be wonderful. Stuff that you didn't know is going to happen. You know, when you when you walk by the desk and you run into the desk, don't stop the scene because you ran into the desk. Because in real life, people run into desks. So I want to see what happens in real life 
here, not what is perfect acting. So if you hit the desk, if you slip and fall down, don't stop the scene. I'll stop the scene. That's my job. It's not your job to say what is good and what's not good, or what's working, what's not working, what's funny or what's not funny. So that's that's my big take on directing, is that what what happens by accident is often the most interesting moments of the scene. Especially since a lot of film acting is sort of comes from the unconscious in a way. Whereas, you know, the camera's on you and, you know, that first time that you're mm -hmm. thinking that thought, it happens or you, you do some action physically. What happens or, the first time is, is, is often golden. That's the wonderful aspect of, of the digital revolution is that we got rid of all that film that you have to, like, pay for and, and, and reload and worry about. Uh, so we don't, we don't have to rehearse it. There's no such thing as rehearsal anymore. Why, it used to be you rehearsed a scene until it was not perfect, but, you know, it was rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed, and then say, okay, let's shoot it now. Well, that, that always bothered me because so many of the wonderful things that actors come up with or that happen between actors happen the first time they do a scene. Yeah. It's fresh. It's like, whoa. And then you say, well, let's do that again. And they say, well, what did I do? You know, I, I don't know what I did. I was just messing around. So those moments are, have been lost forever in the film world. But in the digital world, they're there. You just turn on the camera and you don't have to turn it off again until the end of the day.